Welcome to Packet Pushes. This is Greg. Um, today, what I wanted to talk about is why white box might result in having more head count instead of less. And it's not for the reasons that you think. The thing about buying white box is most people will tend to be comfortable with buying the mainframe. That is, the, the, the buying the switch from a vendor that gives you support and a single throat to choke. Uh, but the fallacy of that is that that's actually cheaper. What we know today is that most of the vendors don't do a lot of testing. They ship the product out and then wait for customers to report bugs. So you, many people who are buying mainframes are actually solving the problems that the vendors didn't complete as part of their development cycle. That's good for their business. Customers have been used to that. They've been putting it up with it for a long period of time. And discussions with a lot of engineers suggest that they've been putting the bugs, you know, fixing the bugs, detecting the bugs, reporting the bugs. And I've spoken to people whose entire lives are spent literally finding bugs in um, well-known branded products. Uh, but they don't think of that as something special because they seem to think that that's just part of the deal. Well, if you buy a white box, you're going to be in the same situation. You're still going to be testing. You're still going to be solving the buggy problems, probably, one way or the other. But much more likely, you're going to have a lot more freedom about how you go about fixing them. You don't have to wait six months for the vendor to turn around a patch. You don't have to spend days in meetings saying that we need it in three months and the vendor saying, whatever, we'll do what we can, and then delivering nine months later. Uh, and those meetings aren't a useful point of your time. They're not valuable. They're just a cost that your company has, your employer has to bear. So when it comes to white box, the real value here is the flexibility and the capability. You can solve some of those problems yourself. You could replace one white box operating system with a different operating system. So if this vendor's got a bug that's causing you a problem today, switch to another one. Yes, I know you might have problems thinking that I've got to learn something new. But really what happens is a switch and the routers, this is true for campus and for software-defined WAN as it is for the data center, we're really seeing where the SDN controllers sit above. If you think you're going to be configuring your switch by some sort of command line in the years ahead, that's pretty much never going to happen. So what you need to be thinking about and thinking about really soon is once you've got white box, you're going to be spending your time with new capabilities, new features, new ability to turn that thing into a profit center. So whether it's in the campus or you're in the SD-WAN where you're using a white box x86 off the shelf, $300 box to run some sort of SD-WAN software, doesn't really make any difference. All of a sudden, you've got the ability to do things that were never done before. Instead of being restricted to what the vendor wants to give you, you can now turn this around and turn it into something with features. And you can start working on the SDN controller to do automated provisioning. You can start having analytics and telemetry. I think this returns value to the company. To the company that owns it and uses this technology, they're going to go, you know, if I invest money in my network, it's actually going to do something for me. It's going to be more visible. I'm going to be able to put functions into the the white box. Why, if you're just connecting uh, your network to the internet and you need to take a BGP route to get a default, well, why are you buying a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollar set of routers? Why not just put a BGP instance on your white box and be done with it? Massive cost savings there. Um, those sorts of things then free you up to start spending your time analytics engines. You can instead of spending two hundred thousand dollars on a BGP. Uh, license in effectively getting a BGP app at the edge of your network. You could spend two hundred thousand dollars on an analytics platform to start doing flow and flow analytics or something like that. These are the sorts of things that you can do with white box. It's it's about choices and the problem with the network today is it's very restrictive. We can't. They've got no flexibility. We can't do the things we want. We can't change the way the operating system looks. We can't have the apps that we want. And so the network's kind of not useful. It doesn't have any reporting or analytics. So you can you're restricted. You can't take it where you want it to go. White box gives you that. And if you can suddenly go back to the business and show them what you've done and how much value you're bringing and increasing productivity and reducing costs by faster time to resolution instead of waiting nine months and delaying the project while the bug in the thing was, gets fixed, that's an advantage. And that's why you might need more networking people in an era of white box and making your own operating systems and running you know, disaggregated apps than you do with your current single vendor, one throw to choke, I don't have to do anything for you because you're stuck with me.